Hey YouTube, this is Everything Apple Pro, and the Chronic Dev team has just released their Green Poison Jailbreak. Now, this supports iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4G, iPod Touch 3GS, and the iPad on 3.2.2. Otherwise, everything else has to be on firmware 4.1. Now, the iPhone 3G support is coming soon, and I'll put a video annotation right here. Just click on the link, and it'll take you to my jailbreak for that for the iPhone 3G. Otherwise, just to show you, I am on an iPhone 4 that is running 4.1 firmware right there. And let's get started. So, first of all, you go to greenpoison.com and I'll have a link in my description and download your file. Once it's downloaded, extract it from the zip file and put it on your desktop. Now I've already got it there, but next right click it and press run as administrator and this will help with any errors during the jailbreak make sure your iPhone is connected via USB so you're gonna wanna turn off your iPhone right now and we will get started on the jailbreak so basically you're gonna be putting it into DFU mode and as soon as you click this button hold the home button and be prepared to press it or I mean I'm sorry the power button be prepared to press the power button power button 3 2 one home button 10 9 8 7 you're holding these together 5 4 3 2 1 and hold the home button until you see green poison starting working all right so it has recognized the device and you can go ahead and press jailbreak now that it's in DFU mode. And on Green Poison, it is telling you that it's jailbreaking, and you'll see the progress bar. So just hold on a second. And on your iPhone, you will see some white screens. Any other, any other type of color screens, don't worry about it. It is normal. So I'm just going to keep the camera on and show you what's supposed to happen to your iPhone. And just keep waiting for green poison. It might take a little bit. And this is normal. This is a verbose boot. And it is normal for your iPhone to do this during the jailbreak process. So you're done on your computer. You just check it out on your iPhone. Don't be scared by this. This is this is perfectly normal. All right, so after the jailbreak has finished and you boot up your iPhone and if you don't see any icons, then that means that something went wrong and it's because for me, it was because I was jailbroken with Lime Rain previously, and it interfered and nothing showed up. And I had to restore it to get it to show up eventually. But if, if anything's going on, it's not going right for you guys, make sure that you are restoring and uh, restoring to 4.1 firmware. If you're on an, any other firmware, it won't show up. Also, make sure you have iTunes 10 and you are right-clicking and running as administrator. Also, restart your iPhone and just try the jailbreak a couple times if it doesn't work but if you guys are having any problems that's the way to fix it but thanks a lot guys um, on with the jailbreak okay so once your iPhone has finished booting up after the jailbreak you will slide over to see this loader it's okay if it's white it's usually supposed to be a green circle but go ahead and click on in and make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection or 3G but make sure you have internet and click on that and wait for it to download Alright, and after it's finished downloading, it'll ask if you want to remove the loader from your iPhone. And I would not remove it. In case anything goes wrong, just keep it on there. And after it's done, you will have Cydia on your desktop after it reboots on your springboard. Sorry, and I'll be right back. Alright, so my iPhone has booted up, and there you go. There's Cydia on my springboard. And you are now jailbroken on iOS 4.1 on your iDevice. And thanks a lot for watching, you guys. 
please subscribe so you can get the unlock when it comes out and a lot of other cool videos and please comment rate and have fun with your new jailbroken item